Do you feel frustrated and ready to throw in the towel with the topic of your life purpose and the frustration of people talking about your uh, a purpose, that you have a purpose, people talking about how to find it, but not showing you how. Um, maybe you feel by now like the whole thing is a hoax. Maybe you're in your 30s or your 40s or your 50s or your 60s and you feel like you have never really connected with your life's purpose and you're not clear on what it is um, and you feel this pressure to make it happen, to find it, to make it happen, to make a difference, to you know, experience all the good things that we have in our minds that come from discovering and living our purpose. Good, <laughs> that's good. It's good that you haven't given up on it. And so I wanna to talk to you today um, about the seven steps to discover uh, your life's purpose and a vision for fulfilling your life's purpose. And these are steps that, these, these aren't steps that I, I made up. Um, I do, I did a, I've been running programs called Vision Quest with Rick for um, nine years now. And at the beginning, I just had a desire, remember that one, I just had a desire to help people connect with the magic in life and find their flow in life again and rediscover what was truly meaningful to them. And I'd use my experience with leukemia when I was 21 years old as the like launching point for doing this and the, the first programs were to help other young adult cancer survivors. And over the years, so I started running programs for them, retreats for them, and then opening it up to general public entrepreneurs and professionals who wanted to find more meaning and flow and, and purpose in their lives. And what revealed itself was this vision quest process that kept getting tweaked and refined and, you know, participants would come in and offer something and we'd have conversations. Some conversations would come up over and over and over. I realized they were most relevant. And um, when I started working with my marketing guy, Chris, what's up, Chris? He's going to be watching this and maybe editing it. Um, he was like, you got to, you know, why don't you break it down into the steps of what it takes um, so we can explain it better. And so uh, I thought about it and I got out the pen and I looked at all the steps in this process. It's, it's you know, it's, it's a week long process um, that I do live with people. And I, I discovered that there were seven steps to this process. And like I said, it wasn't something that I like made up at the beginning and said, here are the steps, you know, then we're gonna try it. it was so, I, just, I just tried it and kept doing it and improving it. And these are the steps that revealed themselves. So I'm gonna share those with you right now and just tell you a quick, um, just a, an idea or two about each one, just so you can, um, m mostly so you can have a sense of hope and possibility when it comes to finding your purpose and putting it into a vision to guide the next phase of your life. So you ready? So the first step, is desire and this is saying that's why why i brought it up earlier this is saying that if you don't if you don't want this if you don't want to have a more uh meaningful life if you don't want to have you know if you don't have the desire to have a, a kind of a, a greater purpose for your life there are forces and habits and everything that are going to work against you and going to derail you so you have to have a strong desire to stay on course because you're gonna face discouragement, you're gonna face the fear, the fear doesn't want you to fulfill your purpose, it doesn't want anything to change. <laughs> and so desire, strong desire. Number two step is space. So we're gonna visit this twice. So the first is in space, like physical space in your life, like space of time, um, a space, a workspace. And you know, there's uh, space in terms of taken a week out every year and then there's space in terms of like some some space every day and this is kind of like the, the outer space that's that's what we're talking about here at this point uh, then a little bit later in the process there's the inner space which is uh, quiet time in your mind and in your heart and you need that space in order to get to step three which is inner knowing and this is where you um, Tune in and start to communicate with a part of you that is usually that it's a it's a soft, subtle voice that's usually drowned out by your mind's chatter. 
so it's really hard to hear and you can you can feel it you can feel it speaking to you you can feel it um, maybe if you're feeling anxious or angry or agitated that is the voice also saying hey what you're doing right now is not in alignment with what you're really here to do so if you are feeling anxious agitated angry take it as a good sign because it's your voice shaking you and saying hey wake up get back on track step four so the first three i'll review is desire space inner knowing then number four is appreciation and this is something that is is creating a foundation for you to stand on to see your purpose and see your vision and appreciation is you know so many teachers and religions talk about this it not only shifts how you feel in the moment it's raining so i think i have to talk a little bit louder <laughs> nice uh, beautiful rainy afternoon on bali so appreciation is creating that foundation for you to stand on and it feels good in the moment to bring your attention to what you appreciate in your life there are an infinite number of things for you to feel good and appreciative and grateful for in your life right now no matter how bad your life is or how bad you think it is and then appreciation also empowers you because you look at all the amazing things that you've already been given in your life and you've already created and achieved in your life and it empowers you to when you're starting to look forward about what the next phase in your life is and the, the next dreams you have. That's number four, appreciation. Number five, inspiration. So the way I look at this is once you're standing on that foundation of appreciation, then inspiration is what you're, what's calling you forward. It's what's pulling your attention forward. It's what you're reaching for. It's what makes you feel alive and excited when you bring your attention on it. And that is a good sign. I mean, the, the whole Vision Quest process is based around there's one emotion, one idea, it's inspiration. It's what inspires you. So all those things leading up to this are putting you in a place where you can start to reconnect with your inspiration and feel your inspiration and be guided by your inspiration. Then, once you've done all that primer work, then discovering your purpose is really easy. And that's the next step. Step six is purpose. Uh, let's see, there's so many things I can say about purpose. I'm just gonna say right now, purpose is the unique way that you uplift and empower other people. All of us, we want to relieve the suffering of others and empower them and help them wake up to who they really are, wake them up to the, the creator that they are. So we all have our different ways of doing this. Some people do it through cleaning pools. Some people do this through counseling. Some people do this through business and amazing products. And so, um, but actually that's skipping a little bit. Your purpose is more about a way of being and um, a doing in the moment that allows you to bring that magic and that flow to someone else's life. That's purpose, step six. And then step seven is dreams. So this is where you put the vision together. So once you know your purpose, then you can start to clarify which dreams are right for you, are right for your unique soul. And then you have a, you can create a vision, you can create a visual written plan or map that is focusing on what's truly important to you and what you're really here to do with your life, both personally and professionally. So to recap, those seven steps, you don't have to memorize them all. I'll be making more videos about all of them and basically everything that I teach falls into one of these seven steps. Step one is desire, two is space, three is inner knowing, four is appreciation, five is inspiration, six is purpose, seven is vision. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you found this useful, um, basically, like I said, I just want you to have some hope there is a process that can help you, that can like quiet the noise and the, dis the distractions and let go of all the unnecessary things. There's so many great teachings out there. There's so, much, so many good teachers, guides, programs, books, and everything, but it's still, even with all that, it's hard to, <laughs> hard to hone in on your purpose. Um, so yeah, this is a process that I found that, that if you just follow the step-by-step -step process, it primes you 
to discover your purpose and then your purpose and your dreams just fall onto the page with ease and flow and it's fun. All right, if this has helped you, check out my um, free mini course called the Five Minute Vision Reset and I'm gonna take you through each of those seven steps in a, in a very um, almost sneaky way. You're gonna be revealing the answers for these different stages and even with this, these four short videos and writing exercises, I wouldn't be surprised if you get more clear than you've been in years about what's really important to you. All right, let me know in the comments what you think of this, if this has helped you, and especially if you've done the five minute vision reset, let me know your experience. All right, click the link and see you inside. Bye.